You know those headlines that scream fusion breakthrough? Most of the time, they're complicated. So here's what actually happened with General Fusion in Vancouver, and why it matters. They just set a world record in magnetized target fusion. Using magnetized plasma, a liquid metal liner, and high-speed pistons, they achieved a precise, high-speed bear hug. Plasma density ramped 190 times, the magnetic field, over 13 times stronger, and particles stayed confined even longer than the compression itself. The result, roughly 600 million fusion neutrons every second during the peak. Peer-reviewed. Now, myth bust. This is not net energy, it's not powering a city, but it's a big validation of the MTF approach. Why is that cool? Because, magnetized target fusion is pulsed short, intense bursts. The liquid metal blanket both compresses and protects the chamber, making it easier to handle heat, recycle fuel, and avoid frying components, big engineering headaches and other designs like Tokamax. What General Fusion has shown is stable, repeatable fusion conditions at a scale you can manufacture more like heavy industry. This feeds directly into their next step, the Lawson Machine 26, aimed at higher yields and power plant relevant performance. If LM26 hits its marks, you get closer to a system that could actually actually plug into the grid. Zoom out, Fusion is a portfolio. Eider's assembly, China's duration records and private ventures like this all play a part. Canada's carving out a role here. If you want a side-by-side -side of this record versus other milestones, and what net energy actually means, drop a comment, and I'll break it down.